Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zoom. I'm Dr. Abstract, and let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and we're going to see what we can code in five minutes. Now, normally we would press the code button here and hit copy and copy that template. But what we're going to do this time is continue on with our sound. So let's go to an editor such as Adam. And this is the last code in five minutes, which was to create a sound dial. Shall we see this? We'll open in browser. So this was a dial that we could then reduce or increase the sound with. And so what we're going to do is uh, play a bit more with sound. We're going to get rid of the dial. So I'm getting rid of the dial here. By the way, this, this file can be found at zimjs.com slash five, F-I-V-E. And then it was called sound.html. We're now working in one called Soundwave, and you'll be able to see that one there too. So we now are just bringing in the sound. We don't have the dial. And what we're going to do is we're going to animate some circles to that sound. OK, so let's get that timer. Uh, let's get that timer going. We will uh, hit start on the timer and let's go. So we want a sound wave um, object sound wave. And this is how uh, Zim animates to sound. Um, a new sound wave and in there we say how many of these uh, how many rings do we want or how many sounds do we want to divide this up into and you, you can change that we'll choose 40 frequencies and then the sound that we want to put in there is our sound from earlier when this is ready sound wave dot on ohm on quote ready we will call this arrow function here, uh, like so. And in there, we, we're now ready, so we can do a bunch of stuff. We, um, we can, let's make our circle container, so const circles. Anytime you want to animate something, it's uh, animate a bunch of things, it's sometimes easier, or it is easier to put them into a container. Equals a new container, that way we can loop through the container. We won't add that yet because we'll wait and add the circles and then we'll center that on there. Const colors. So how about some colors equals, and we can use um, some Zim colors, pink, blue, green, uh, orange, and yellow. How about that? Okay. And then we'll make our circles by looping through the number of um, sound waves we're going to have. So we will loop. That's a Zim loop through the number of sound waves, so that's sound wave dot num, is it property dot num, that will match the 40 up above, and uh, it's better to do it this way rather than hard code it. And each time we'll call this arrow function in there, and in the arrow function we'll make our new circle, so a new circle. Uh, we'll give it some sort of radius to start off with, and if we just say colors, a uh, zim pick will pick between uh, those random colors. It'll just pick a random color each time for a circle. And then we'll dot add two, oops, whoop, add two circles, like so. There's uh, a bunch of our circles. And we now need to circles dot center. We'll center all those circles on the stage. We can apply blend modes to them as well. Uh, for now, let's just see what it looks like with them uh, as they are, though. And now, to animate to the sound, we need to animate over time. So ticker.add, and we'll call this arrow function right here. Um, we need to get the data from the sound wave each time. So let data equal to sound. Uh wave dot data uh, no dot calculate we calculated calculate good and that calculates and, and data will now be an array of all of our uh, amplitudes at, at those frequencies so um, from the bass up to the treble I guess uh, we could call it and then circles now we're going to animate each of those circles dot loop 
Uh, so we can set those in a loop, and each time we'll be given, and we'll use an arrow function here, each time we're given a circle, as well as an index of that as, as we loop on through. And we'll need the index because we're going to say circle.data, oops, circle.radius um, is equal to the data at i. So that's our data. And uh, let's um, try her out here. Let's see, we've got a couple things there. Did we end? This is, uh, we can do this ticker. We should do this ticker all within the ready. So that sits within there. Apologies. And uh, let's see what we've got. So we, have we viewed this in a browser yet? Yeah, I think it's here. Ah, okay. So I'd like to use the full mode on this, I think. Uh, be a good idea, so let's hope we can get this done in time here. Um, we'll put it on black here and here, black and black. Well, that won't, one won't matter. And we'll make this a full mode and let's have a peek. Very nice. And what would it look like uh, with a blend mode? Um, I don't know if I can get that blend mode in there in time. Let's pause that timer. I think we did it, yeah? <laughs> we'll uh, pause that timer at 4.57. <laughs> isn't that amazing, though? I mean, that's um, quite beautiful, isn't it? Do you like to animate uh, those circles to the sound? Isn't that neat how that works? So as those frequencies are going up, some of those frequencies are bass, some are treble. And uh, that's the the look that we get. Uh, if you do apply blend modes, it would look something like this. Hope you don't mind. Uh, I don't think we'll keep the blend modes. It's not, I'm not sure. Circles dot blend mode is equal to difference, for instance. Uh, you can try different ones out, <laughs> coincidentally. And there's a blend mode uh, with the difference on. It might be too complicated looking. I'm not sure. It's up, you know, it's up to you. But we could reduce the number and say only have ten. And let's see what that looks like. Not bad. And you can play with this in any number of ways, and we certainly do. Um, with things like uh, you can multiply this by two if it's not big enough, or various equations to sort of get bigger. Sometimes a base is too much. Um, these don't have to be circles, they could be traditional bars. So come to the Zim site and check, um, check out uh, various ways that we've animated to sound. A lot of them are in live light shows, so aren't even on the Zim site, but um, then we project these onto bands and it dances. Uh, we just did <laughs> well, I like our own raves and all that kind of stuff, and that, that's great. Um, but we did just project these at the, the Blues Brothers Band. Uh, they were up in Hamilton, where I'm from, and um, we projected them there with people's logos in the front, in the middle of them. <laughs> Isn't that neat? So all for a good cause, and uh, you know we really enjoyed seeing that happen. Okay, so I am Dr. Abstract, and this has been a code in five minutes with Zim. Uh, let's get that uh, backing sound down, though. <laughs> right on. Uh, and if you're digging what you see here, animating to sound, and all of the other things that we can do with Zim, you're welcome to come in and join us at zimjs.com slash slack. We'd love to see you there. Uh, come on in and say hi. Ciao.